Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his infinite mercy, has yet again blessed us with another new year. For the Muslims, new year starts with the month of Muharram. But January is also the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the sun belongs to Allah, the moon belongs to Allah. All of us, respected listeners, we are sitting here today with one whole year of our life vanished from us. Sayyidina Hassan al-Basri rahmatullah used to say, Yabna Adam, inna ka ayyam, O human being, O son of Adam, you are but a bundle of days. As each day goes by, a portion of you vanishes away. Where did that year go by? How did it go? Did our good deeds exceed the bad deeds? If not, we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this year a better year than the last year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this year a better year in regards to our amal, in regards to getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't matter life is long or short, like one of the elders said, it doesn't matter if the life is long or short, as long as the death is end to the life. No matter how long we live, respected listeners, may Allah bless us with long lives, may Allah bless us with good health and good deeds. Only Allah knows when will our last day be on this earth. And our last day on this earth will not be different than any other day. It may be sunshine during the daytime, it may be the night time, it may be raining, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the order to the angel of death, Israel alayhi salam, to go take the soul of such a such person. كَمَا تَعِيشُونَ تَمُوتُونَ وَكَمَا تَمُوتُونَ تُحْشَرُونَ أو كَمَا قَالْ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the way you live, that is how you will die. And the way you die, that is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you again on the day of judgment. If you are used to praying Fajr Salat every day, respected listeners, if we are particular of praying Fajr Salat every day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make sure that the day we die, that we have prayed our Fajr Salat. If you are used to missing our Fajr Salat, waking up late from the comforts of the bed and the comforts of a comfortable life in America. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. It will so happen that the day we'll die, we'll also miss the Fajr Salat on that day. This is the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why this time is so precious, respected listeners. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us only 24 hours in a daytime. 24 hours, day and night combined. Time is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has made it 24 hours on the earth. Allah has made 25 hours on the planet Mars. Allah has made it 10 hours on the planet Jupiter. Allah has made it 1400 hours of a day on the planet Mercury, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it 5,800 hours in a day on the planet Venus. Time is in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the youth of the cave, Allah talks about them in Surah Al-Kahf, which has a lot of virtues, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged us to recite Surah Al-Kahf every Juma, every Friday. Few of the virtues, Prophet wasallam said, I say this often, a reminder is beneficial for the believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Remind one another. Reminder is, a bene reminder is beneficial to the believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on Jummah, Prophet وسلم, said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save that person from trials and tribulations for the next eight days. Even the trials and tribulations of the magnitude when Dajjal comes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also save us from those trials and tribulations. And Allah will create nur, light from the place the person recites Surah Al-Kahf until Makkah Al-Mukarramah, one narration says, and until the heavens above the sky, another narration says. Because Surah Al-Kahf talks about the youth in the cave, their faith, their conviction, their determination, their sacrifice for the pleasures of the worldly life. Surah Al-Kahf talks about two very close friends or brothers, one very rich, one very, very poor. And the rich, how the arrogance spoils him with the riches Allah had given him, and the poor who stays firm with the belief and conviction in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the life of the hereafter, and the story of Musa alayhi salam, Allah teaching him that there was there's someone else. If you think you are the most knowledgeable, then know that someone else is more knowledgeable than you who is Khizr alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Dhul Kharnain. Allah had given him power, might, riches, strength, authority over the world. And Allah talks about his humbleness and his devotion and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we recite Surah Al-Kahf on the Jummah, respected listeners, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us not to get deceived by this glimmer and glitter and the glamour of this world, that there is a hidden world of the life of the hereafter that is coming soon. So when Allah talks about the youth of the cave in Surah Al-Kahf, who went and hid in the cave for 300 years. When a person sleeps for 300 years, respected listeners, when he wakes up, his hair should be as long to his, as to his, towards his feet. His nails should grow long towards his feet. If an 18-year-old among the youth went to sleep, when he woke up, he should be 318 years old. If a 20-year-old youth was in the group, his age should have been 320 years old when they woke up. But when they woke up, they saw each other. Nothing changed. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped the running of the clock inside the cave. While the clock was running outside the cave. One of them when he woke up, he asked, how long did we sleep? Come labithna, yawman. One of them said, maybe a day. The other said, oh, bad the yawm. No, maybe half a day. Five thousand eight hundred eight hundred hours day on the planet Venus. You go for this is just in the solar system, respected listeners. The clock running in the solar system. Imagine you go beyond the Milky Way galaxy or within the Milky Way galaxy. What could be the state of time? The creation of a law. This is again below the first sky, first heaven. Imagine the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the day of judgment is equal to 50,000 years. 50,000 years. But Prophet wasallam said for a believer to whom the book of deeds has been given in the right hand, for him the day of judgment will be equal to as if he prayed or she prayed two rakat nafil salat. Time is controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We worry, respected listeners. I worry. You worry. I'm not able to change myself. Life is fleeting by. Life is passing by. All we need to do, respected listeners, is change the moments of one in one day, 24 hours of the day. Change that one day, respected listeners. Change the moments of that one day, and Allah will change our lives. You come walking, I come running towards you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says.
How many salats did we miss last year, respective listeners? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us another year. Let's try to make up all the salats we have missed. Every salat we pray, respected listeners. If we are praying Fajr, pray to Rakat Salatul Khada, the salat we had missed before Fajr. If you are praying Zohar, pray for Rakat of Zohar if we have missed before, before Zohar or after Zohar. Try to make it up, respected listeners. Because Salat Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said will be the first thing Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will ask on the Day of Judgment. One Salat, respected listeners. You fill one Fard Salat. You fill the entire earth with gold. It will not replace praying one Salat. You fill the entire seven, Asia, seven oceans with gold, respected listeners. It will not replace, it will not be equal to one fard salat in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You fill the entire earth and the heaven's seven skies with precious pearls and rubies and emeralds. And so Allah, take this, O Allah. Take all of this instead of the one salat I missed, O Allah. Allah will say, not accepted. Not accepted. Alam tara anna Allah yusabbihu lahu man fi samawati wal ard wa tayru safat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Prophet of Allah, don't you see how the heavens and the earth and the birds spreading their wings Glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullun khad alimat salatahu wa tazbihahu. And each, every one of the creation, except the human beings. Every one of the creation has its own, has its own mode of prayer, Allah says. Every creation. Is praying salat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How it is praying? We don't only Allah knows. Wallahu alimun bima yaf'alun. He knows everything they're doing, Allah says, how they're praying. Ar Rahman, Allah al Quran, Khalaq al Insan, Allah al Bayan, Ash Shamsu al Qamaru yas Judan. They're in some are in prostration. The moon and the sun, the stars, Allah says. The trees. Some are in ruku, the angels, from the time they had been created until the end of the time. Some are in tashahud, in the sitting position. Some are just doing tasbih, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu akbar. But what a blessing to us, respected listeners. What a blessing to the Ummah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In one rakat of Salat, in two rakat of Salat, Allah has given every kind of worship in this. Allah has put every kind of worship in those two rakats. Ruku, Sajda, Bayam, Tashahud, recitation of the Quran, Allahu Akbar. No other creation has this kind of Salat, respected listeners. No other creation. One sajda, respected listeners. One sajda, Allahu Akbar. Putting our forehead on the ground. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. It can cool down, respected listeners. This earth that is thirsty, that is burning, it will cool down not to the core of the earth, not to the crust of the earth, 25 miles deep down, but to the most inner core, go, go to, the, to, the, to, the, to the crust, to the mantle, to the outer core, to the inner core, 6,000 miles of depth. Allah will cool down those 6,000 miles of depth of the earth core, respected listeners. That is how one precious, one sajda is, that is how precious it is in the eyes of Allah. Tahta thara. Allah will cool down to the innermost layer of the core of the earth. But unfortunately, respected listeners, 
95% of our Muslim Ummah. We talked about the pandemic, COVID-19 and Omicron lately. But what is a bigger pandemic than wasting and misusing time in the Muslim Ummah respect? Ninety-five percent of us respected listeners do not pray five times salah. We came to America. We came as takers, respected listeners. There is a fact. I'm talking about myself. I came as a taker. I came to take the green card, the citizenship, the job, the money, the wealth, the social security. The health benefits, they open up their arms to give it to us. What are we giving it to them, respective listeners? What are we giving in return to them? May not Allah ask us? What if Allah asks us about this on the day of judgment, respective listeners? We live our life obeying the commands of Allah. We sacrifice everything when the command of Allah comes, when the hukum of Allah comes. And we follow our lives in the ways shown by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Everything else is secondary, respected listeners. Everything else is secondary. We need to teach this to our kids. If we don't let the kids know about this, and if we die, on the day of judgment, our kids will hold our necks. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respect the listeners. Make this year a year of awakening for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the value of time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us out of laziness and complacency. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to pray five times salat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring sincerity and devotion in our salat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our deeds. Akhuli khuli hadha astaghfirullah li walkum wa astaghfiru ya fillahu inna huwa ghafuru rahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem Amma ba'd A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-nabi Ya ayyuhu al-lazina amanu Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala muhammadin abdika wa rasulik Wa salli ala al-mu'minina wa al-mu'minat Wa al-muslimina wa al-muslimat Wa barik ala muhammadin wa azwaji wa dhurriyati Wa qala Allah ta'ala Wa qala al-nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam أرحم أمتي بأمتي أبو بكر وأشهدهم في أمر الله عمر وأزق محيا عن أثمان وأغذاهم علي وفاطمة سيدة النساء أهل الجنة والحسن والحسين وسيدة شباب أهل الجنة الحمد لله صد الله وصد رسوله الله مغفر العباس وولده مغفرة ذائرة وباتنة لا تغادر ذنبا الله الله في أصحاب لا تتخذهم غرضا من بعد فمن أحب فبيحب أحبهم ومن أبغض فببغض أبغضهم وخير الخرن ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم إن الله يعمر بالأدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن البحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تذكرون وقم السلام